my name is Ashley Rice and welcome to my YouTube channel. Okay guys, I have a fun recipe video for you today and this is actually in collab with a bunch of wonderful, amazing women. So after you are done watching this video, definitely make sure to go check out their videos as well. These are basically going to be all of the fall apple recipes you will ever need. Also, their videos look amazing and the food that they're making just makes my mouth water. So I'm really excited to be able to try out some of their recipes as well. And really quickly, the ladies that are involved in this collab with me are Brittany from Vegan Wife Life, Jenny from Team Broccoli, Liz from A Rockin' Vegan, Ginny from Ginny Williams, and Kathy from Veg Inspired. And I'm going to link it down below in the description box, a link that contains all of our videos. So if you want a really lazy way to see all of these amazing recipes, just head down there, click on it. But the one that I made for you guys today is this Minnesota apple crisp and I call it the Minnesota apple crisp because it is loaded with maple syrup. I feel like Canada and Minnesota are really well known for how much maple syrup we use and so I had to make some for you guys. So without further ado, let's see how to make this. So to start off our recipe, we're going to be needing some flour, maple syrup, cinnamon, nutmeg, salt, vanilla extract, lemon juice, vegan butter of your choice. For today I am using Earth Balance, some oats, and of course the most important ingredient of all of those, apples. So now of course we are going to peel and slice up our apples. You don't really have to peel them if you don't want to. I know some people like to keep the skin on. However, the thing that I like to use is this little guy right here just because it makes it so much easier because it does it all for you in one go. And once the whole apple has gone through, basically what I do is cut it up into fourths. Super easy, super simple. And now that all the apples are sliced, we're going to be adding in the rest of the ingredients for the filling. So we're going to be adding in some flour. That yummy, yummy maple syrup. Some cinnamon and then also a little bit of nutmeg. And then what you wanna do is stir it all together until you see basically none of the flour left. If there's a little bit here and there, it's totally fine. I mostly stir until I see most of it gone. And of course, you have to take a little bit to taste test, otherwise how do you know it's any good? So definitely feel free to do that. Now we're gonna go over to a different area and we're gonna pour all of the filling into our pan and then head back to your previous working space and let's make the topping. We're gonna to start off by adding some flour and then we're gonna add in some of those delicious oats. And of course, this wouldn't be Minnesotan unless we doused it with maple syrup, so throw that in there. And because fall tis the season, we're gonna throw more cinnamon in and then to sweeten it up a little bit more, we're gonna throw in a little bit of vanilla. You don't have to add the lemon juice if you do not want to. However, I find that it adds a little bit of that like citrusy taste that just really pulls all the flavors together. And now we're gonna stir it all together. I would definitely recommend using a fork. I thought it made it a lot easier to really dig in there and mix it all together. Once it is evenly mixed, you are going to take your melted vegan butter and you're gonna go ahead and pour that in. And you can use more vegan butter if you want it to be a bit of a runnier consistency. I didn't really like that, so I put less vegan butter in. Once you're done mixing it all together, you're gonna head back over to your filling. And from here, you can try and crumble the pieces if you would like. I found that it was really, really difficult. It just made my hands really, really messy. So basically what I did is I applied it evenly to the best of my ability. You are gonna have some spots that do not get covered. That's totally fine. That's what Apple Crisp is all about. So do not worry about that. And then from there, we're gonna throw it in the oven. Once you've seen that the juice has been bubbling up and stuff has started to brown, that's when you know it is all ready to go. And then once it has cooled down for a little bit, go ahead and cut yourself a slice. You definitely deserve it after making this amazing Minnesotan apple crisp. So enjoy.
hope you enjoyed this recipe video. This guy here is so yummy and it reheats really, really well. I should know we have a ton of it because of how many times I had to make this to make sure I got the ratios right. <laughs> the top is obviously not as crispy as some other apple crisps might be. If you want more the traditional sense of apple crisp, the top layer, then what I would do is just swap out the maple syrup and instead use brown sugar, coconut sugar, whichever type you would like, and add a little bit more vegan butter, either like another fourth a cup or half a cup, depending on what you would like. And then it should be just fine. But it's because I used maple syrup in there that it ended up kind of like this guy right here. But the tastes are amazing and wonderful, and I guarantee you're absolutely gonna love it. It is a fun twist on a, you know, average apple crisp which is super fun because we make apple crisps every single year. It's like our favorite fall recipe to make. So I was really excited to do this collab with all of these amazing women. They are so good at their recipe videos and I am so excited for you to be able to check them out. If you are wondering who they are, one more time, I'll list them off for you guys. We have Brittany from Vegan Wife Life, Jenny from Team Broccoli, Liz from A Rockin' Vegan, Ginny from Ginny Williams, and Kathy from Veg Inspired. And if you have not checked out their videos yet, please, please, please go down below in the description box, click on that link to the playlist and go through and watch all their videos because I guarantee you they're going to be so much better than mine because they're all so amazing and wonderful and I'm so excited to like try out all the recipes because they look amazing. But if you do try to make this recipe at home, let me know in the comments below what you think. Is it something that you really, really enjoy? You like that take on it? Or would you prefer to just keep the maple syrup in the the filling part and have the crust be normal apple crisp. Let me know that down below in the comments. I would love to hear that. Also, let me know what some of your favorite fall apple recipes are because I would love to try and veganize those as well because I love everything apple. I love everything fall. This is my favorite time of the year. Sweater weather galore. I am obsessed with it. So I would love to see what foods and drinks are your favorite this fall season. But other than that, if you are new to my channel, I would absolutely love it if you would subscribe and click the little bell that is down below so you can get notified for all of my future content. Also, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. It really helps out my channel. And other than that, I'll see you guys next time.